We're going to hear more on a new study on prostate cancer now, and here with me is Professor Cora Sternberg, who is Chief of Oncology at the San Camillo Forlanini Hospital in Rome in Italy. Hello to you. Hello. So tell me, what was your research about? Uh, my research is about prostate cancer. The study is called the PROSPER study, and it's research on patients who have castration resistant prostate cancer, which means they've already failed um, androgen deprivation therapy. And these are patients with M0, which means they don't have visible metastases, but they have already failed hormonal therapy. So there is no established treatment for these patients. And we chose patients with M0, CRPC, castration resistant prostate cancer, who were at high risk to develop metastases, which means that they had to have a PSA doubling time of less than 10 months. Good. And you had very encouraging results. We did have encouraging results. These were patients that not only had, were all chosen to have um, a PSA doubling time less than 10 months, but these patients had actually had, 77% of them had a PSA doubling time of less than six months. But the results are really, really interesting. The, as I told you, the primary endpoint was met metastasis-free survival, and we had a, what we call a hazard ratio of 0.29, which meant a 71% reduction in the risk of developing metastases or dying. So that was our, our primary endpoint. And there was, a, there was almost a two year difference in that, and two years difference of developing metastases in those patients who received enzalutamide as those who, who received ADT and placebo alone. So we also found that if we looked at the PSA progression, the PSA progression was the curves were really widely apart. There was a three-year difference in until the time that they progressed with PSA. Both the investigators and the patients were blinded to the PSA. It was all done centrally. So it was a three-year difference, a hazard ratio that was 0.07. Also, the time to the first chemotherapy was um, two years difference. It was two years difference when they had to do first chemotherapy or other hormonal therapy and change therapy um, because enzalutamide worked so well for those patients. And do you have more work to do? Is there sort of follow-up research that you want to do that suggests itself to you? What we need to do more is to follow up more on the overall survival. Now the overall survival, there was 11% of patients on the enzalutamide arm who died as compared to 13% on the placebo and ADT arm. And we, neither um, arm has uh, yet had enough deaths. So we need to follow up for overall survival. But there's definitely a, there was a trend toward improved survival in those patients on enzalutamide. So we need to follow up on this and we should have the results in a little over a year's time, I would say. Well, Professor Sternberg, thank you very much. Thank you.